Hey friends, it's Hannah here from Sheet Leveler. Today I've got something super handy for you. How to automatically generate serial numbers in Microsoft Excel using a formula. Now, you might be thinking, Hannah, why not just type them in or drag down? Well, trust me, using a formula will save you time and keep things neat, especially if you insert or delete rows later. So, stick with me until the end because I'll also show you the difference between using a formula and the old-fashioned way. Let's dive in. All right. First things first, open up Microsoft Excel. Find the column where you want your serial numbers to appear. Click on the very first cell where your numbering will start. I'm going to start mine in cell A1. In that first cell, simply type the number 1 and press Enter. Easy so far, right? Now for the fun part. Go to the next cell down, in my case that's cell A2. We're going to write a formula that will automatically generate the next number in the sequence. Here's what you type. Equals A1 plus 1. What this means is, take the value in the cell above and add 1 to it. Once you press Enter, boom, you've got number 2. And here's the magic. If you drag this formula down, Excel will keep counting for you. You've got two easy ways to keep going. Option 1, drag down, hover over the small green square in the bottom right corner of your cell until you see a small black cross. Click hold and drag down as far as you need. Option 2, select and fill. If you want a bunch of serial numbers at once, click your first formula cell, then press the down arrow key to move to the next cell. Hold Shift and keep pressing down until you've highlighted as many cells as you need. Then press Ctrl plus D or Enter to fill them all at once. Pause here if you want to try it yourself. Practicing it right now will help you remember. You might be wondering, Hannah, can't I just type 1 then 2 and drag down? Yes, you can. That's the quick old school way. But there's a big drawback. Let's say you've made your list the manual way and later you insert two rows in the middle. When you do this, your numbering will break. You'll have to drag and renumber the whole list again. Now here's the beauty of the formula method. If I insert a row anywhere in the list, the formula automatically adjusts and your numbering stays perfect. You don't have to redo a thing. It's a real time saver. For example, imagine you're creating an attendance sheet for a class. You start with 30 students, but next week two new students join. If you're using the formula method, you simply insert two new rows, type their names, and the numbers fix themselves instantly. No rework, no stress. So today, we learned how to create serial numbers in Excel using a simple formula and why this method is more reliable than manual numbering. I hope you found this helpful. Excel is such an amazing tool once you get the hang of these little tricks. If you enjoyed this, give the video a thumbs up, share it with a friend who could use it, and check out my full Excel course. It's linked right here on the screen. Thanks for watching. Keep leveling up your Excel skills, and I'll see you in the next one.